Hi, my name's David, and I'm here to show you how to create a form in CRM Plus. But what is a form in CRM Plus, and what does it do? A form in CRM Plus is a document that contains different contact fields that's there in order to have your potential customers or potential contacts to fill in the data and click Submit. Once submitted, it'll flow into Discover CRM Plus, and the contact will be created. So how does this work? Well, first you're going to have to create your form and then select your segment. After that, you can copy the embedded code and then take that code and put it inside your web page. From there, you'll be able to see the form and have the potential contact or potential customer fill in the information. After they click submit, it should flow in and create the contact into Discara CRM Plus. Let's see how this works. So let's go to forms. Inside here, I can see the name, visitors, click, status, segment, and the direct link. I can edit and also delete. If I want to add a new column, I just click here, click on property type, and then I can add a text, number, email, date, select, or multi-select. I'm also able to filter, so I can filter out the forms based upon different information. For example, name, visitors, click, status, segment, or direct link. Let's create a new form. Inside here, let's select one. Now I can go and click on these items here and I can decide what I want to do. For example, I may want to change the image. So let's add some flowers. Let's click edit and let's change the label. So for example, I can click here and I can see the form and I can see the form fields, the name, email address, phone. If I want to edit it, I can click edit and I can select the fields that I want. So for example, maybe I want additional information, date of birth, don't really want phone number and I can create a new field here. For example, maybe I want to call it and then I can select the type here. Do I want to be a text, number, date, email, select or multi-select? So maybe multi-select, let's see. for example, and then I can click save, click here, and click save it, and now I've added it. And now I can select what I want to make mandatory. So for example, maybe email, don't want date of birth to be mandatory, and products. And I want to move products above here, maybe I want to put date of birth, let's see here, additional information at the very end. Next we can go up here and see segment list, and I can select which segment. Is it the master list, computers, new customer, or do I want to add a new segment? So if I click here, add, then I can type in the segment name. For example, summer sales. Then I want to choose a color. Maybe I'll choose this color here and I'll save it. And now it shows summer sales. Now if I want to go down here, I can see the thank you message. So this is the message you get after you click submit. So for example, maybe I want to say thank you for your interest, for example. And then after that, do I want to redirect them to a different page? So I can do that. I can also change the submit button. So for example, if I don't want it to be submit, I can type change it to something else. I can change the font. I can change the color. So for example, maybe I want it to be green. I can also change the button color. So I can go here, I can change it to red, and then I can just change it to all the different colors I want. But I think I'm going to leave it at black. I can change the position. Is it left, center, right? I can change the background color. I can change the width. I can add any padding, add any margins. I can also insert text, image, video, any logos, collection gallery, image and text, social links, and any custom HTML. I also have metadata, so I can add that in. I can put in a title. I can put in the description.
I can also add a canonical URL and I can choose a favicon. So let me insert one and let me save it. We also have embedded scripts, so this is where you can add your embedded script, head of the web page, and add in your embedded script for body of the web page. Once you're done, you can click save. After that, you can check and make sure everything looks correct. You can also go and see what it looks like on the web, tablet, and on the mobile phone. If everything's good, we can save and proceed. After that, we can choose which domain do we want to map it to. Do we want to map it to the default domain? Or do you have your own domain that you wish to add it to? So you can click your domain and type in your domain here and click add. I'm just going to add it to the default domain and click save. After that, we have the direct link. So here I can copy the link and I can just go here and add it directly. And I can see my wonderful form. I'm also able to copy the link and maybe share it on social media or add it to whatever information you want to. The link is here. We also have embedded code. Add this form to your website to start getting submissions from your visitors. If you have added this form to your website already, updates will be applied automatically, which is pretty cool. So you can copy the code and then you go to your web page and embed it. Let's go to form list. I can see that my form has now been created. If I click here, I can change the form name, for example, um, Summer Sales. I can click the Edit button, and I can make changes, and then I can Save and Proceed. And go to Form List again. Now let's go to Contacts, and let's go to our form, and let's fill in information and see what happens. For example, David Niori, email address. Let's add the birth date. So for example, let's see. I can select the products. So maybe t-shirts, for example, any additional information. I like summer. And I can click here to submit. Okay, you can see our wonderful message has popped up. I press OK, and I can see I've gone back to Descara. So let's go here, and let's go back to the dashboard, and let's click on Contacts. And I can see that David has been added. And that was a quick look at how to add forms in Descara CRM Plus.